Hello, everybody. I'm Nikki Zizaza. And I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and, of course, right here on WJZ. The other big story we're following tonight a federal judge says he believes police leadership is on the right track despite the widespread bloodshed in Baltimore and a shrinking police force to deal with it. And tonight we also have new body camera video from an incident where a man died in police custody. Let's get right to all of it with WJZ investigator Mike Algren. He is live at the federal courthouse for us tonight with new reaction from the commissioner. Mike. Rick, Nikki, overall, the judge was pleased with the progress, but he acknowledged it's going to take time to rebuild trust in the department. And we begin with that new police video, a warning it's difficult to watch. Calm down, buddy. Hey, calm down. Baltimore police just released body camera video from an incident two weeks ago where bystanders restrained 56 year old Eugene Douglas during a medical emergency. An officer handcuffs him, then places leg shackles on him. He stops responding as medics treat him. The restraints are removed as Douglas is placed in an ambulance. He later dies at the hospital. The Maryland Attorney General's office is investigating. Oh, no comment other than we follow our policy about critical incident body camera release. How best to handle situations like this are among the reforms initiated by the consent decree with the federal government, which aims to rehabilitate the department after years of civil rights violations. Today, the judge overseeing the effort praised BPD's stability under Commissioner Michael Harrison and urged him to stay the course. But he also slammed what he called appalling and unacceptable violence gripping the city. Still, the commissioner remains optimistic. We want to be the best department in America, and we're certainly on our way there. The judge asked Harrison about enforcement efforts around squeegeeing, which became a flashpoint after a 15-year-old was charged with murdering a motorist who exited his car with a bat. Certainly any other crimes, carrying guns, committing damage, committing assaults, committing thefts, those are things we want to enforce, but we want to prevent them from happening in the very first place. The judge also noted a staffing crisis, with the department losing more than 150 officers this year. Police just announced new incentives for recruitment and retention, including $5,000 bonuses for current officers who bring new ones to the department. Our best recruiters are our own members, and we want our people to have some skin in the game. Now, the judge overseeing reforms also acknowledged that there will be change at the city prosecutor's office with state's attorney Marilyn Mosby losing her primary reelection bid. Live at federal court downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ.